spring is here. This is my first spring bouquet, which I'm going to paint. And I'm just over the moon. These are all out of my garden. I kept the bulbs on the tulips so I can replant them and save them for next year. And doesn't it look beautiful? And this is what it's all about, all the seed planting. I'm just going to dive straight into this video. These are my winter sowing. Actually, the ones on the chair were sown indoors on a north facing window, um, but all these were done outside in the garden in, well, they weren't all done in January. Most of them were done in January. In January. Anyway, let's just get on with it. Um, there's no point hanging about. This is a poppy and this is one of the earliest ones I sowed. I did co um, do a couple of poppies later and they haven't done as well actually as the poppies that I did in January. And when I first started the winter sowing I did overseed the packets as you can see but I think you can also see that these peony poppies are really suited to this method of germination here in zone 8 in the southeast of England. All right, let's go for the next one. Just speed this up a bit. All right, so I had another one germinate there. These were definitely planted a bit later, probably more like February. I didn't mark the date I should have done. And also I marked on the bottle which faded, so don't do that. These are babascum, these are perennial. So these are probably not gonna flower till next summer. But that's okay because that gives me nice lots of time to pamper them and make them nice and ready for next year. I do think this is a really handy method actually for germinating seeds, I've got to be honest. I'm definitely going to find a better system though so that I don't have to have them in my garden, which is sort of, they look pretty pretty grim all dotted about your garden. You need to find a spot where you can just keep them. Ah, these are the peony lilac pom-poms, uh, poppies. Nothing. So these were the ones I planted later, look. And there's nothing. That's so weird. Because the ones I planted in January were absolutely fine. Just be a case of something simple like dodgy seeds, though, because I definitely have had that issue this year where I've done um, a couple of different varieties of some seeds, such as Larkspur and Cleome. Well, in fact, the Cleome were all a dud, as you'll see in a minute. But um, the Larkspur just some varieties just none came up and I did start to question where I got the seeds from and I did start to wonder if there are some places that don't have such a high turnover of seeds where you might have ended up buying old ones another tip don't leave them where they can blow over by the wind or accidentally get kicked over as this one did so I would definitely say that the Dara that I grew indoors on a windowsill is definitely doing better than this one I did outside but I mean if I kicked it over um, then that's hardly surprising really or if the wind blew it over. So this one is Larkspur and again it makes no sense because the Larkspur that I've done later and I did it much later like mid-February in a bottle outside um, has come up in abundance. So I thought this would do better because it had the whole again. cold stratification period. Um, but that's not to be. And some larkspur just haven't come up at all. So I definitely think there is a dodgy seed issue with some of the larkspur that I bought. Because some varieties just all came up. And then other varieties either didn't come up at all. Or only one or two as you just saw came up. So, it, oh, is this a larkspur one now? This is larkspur. Planted in February. You quite caught that, but I did say mm -hmm. it was planted in February. So I planted some in January, some in February. And as you can see, this one is doing better than the one uh, planted in January. So I think I'm identifying two problems that I've had mm -hmm. with the winter sowing. And that is one was the concrete soil that I keep talking about. That was not the right soil. It was not appropriate. It turned hard. And obviously every seedling that grew in that soil basically had a very withered and non-viable root system. Concrete soil again, only one. So that explains why I only had one. And I can tell by touching it which, which soils are, diff uh, are which. The, the soil 
that has the best performance, you can sort of all push your finger in it. So you can imagine how the roots can easily grow. The original soil, the concrete soil that I did most of my first flush of sowing in, um, is just literally hard as a rock. Even when you soak it in water, it doesn't sort of, it might be rehydrating, but it's certainly not getting any softer. Poppy, Poppy Manzad. Oh, they look good. Poppy January, 10th of January. Poppy Manzad. And plant them out. Coryopsis Mardi Gras. Cute. I only planted these ones out uh, probably the beginning of March, so they haven't been going as long as the others, maybe even later than that, maybe 10th of March or so. I know they've only been out a couple of weeks, so that's okay for me. But I'm only undoing all these because it's so hot at the moment. We're having a little mini heat wave, and I don't want to. I've already noticed one was sort of burning up and going brown. So I thought, let's get some airflow and get these open. I think this is my Cleome. Nothing. And I can see already these have germinated. These are the teddy bear sunflowers and they're doing great. So I'm really happy with those. I'm going to do some succession sowing of these. Cute. Time I'd um, sown these, I was getting the hang of the uh, the um, problems that of uh, sowing too many seeds in a pot were going to create later when it came to thinning out. So I had already started to sow more thinly by the time I sowed the teddy bear seeds. Snapdragons. So my first batch of snapdragons were grown on the windowsill in the concrete that soil. Like lot, so needless to say, they had zero chance of survival because they had zero roots. So then this was, I had to start a second batch, which I just decided to do outside in the bottles. And I've also done some inside under lights and I've tried various things with snapdragons because they're so beautiful. I wanted to be able to make sure that I had plenty of them. And the crucial thing was obviously the soil in my case because it was just, as, as with the foxgloves, it was so hard, the roots just could not get going. And when I pricked them out, they had these non-viable, almost non-existent roots. So the previous bottle were Snappy Tongue Snapdragons and these are Circus Clowns. So these are just um, fun ones to have around the garden. They're not necessarily for um, cut flowers. I do have some more beautiful cut flower varieties. Another one of my January poppies, and this one is peony black. How gorgeous these are going to be. Oh, just hope I can keep them alive to flowering. Nigella. Also sown in January. Oh, nice. Although I think these were sown a couple of weeks later than my very first batch of winter sowing.
hiking grass. Cool, I like that. and love in the mist. Sat planning to just spot it. Concrete soil again. So Dreadful. It planted in uh, January, 11th of January. This is Lemonium. This is doing really well and was one of the early ones that I planted and basically, oh, I think you also call it status. Um, and, you know, it's just done really well. It's had no problems at all. I was trying to work out if this was the first or the second batch of the Peony Black because I could not understand why it hasn't done as well as the other batch. And I think this is the first batch because I used the plastic label. And I think this is the concrete soil problem. So the second batch, which I planted, about several weeks later has done much better purely down to the better quality soil poppy pink fizz concrete soil disappointing thing with this was the poppy pink pink fizz took off a blaze like the peony blacks but they died and that is exactly the same pattern that has happened with all of the seedlings started in that concrete soil is they all germinated fine at first but as the soil progressed it kind of it just got more and more concrete and no matter how you watered it you could not get it back sorry there's another one look Ami Magus so I'm looking forward to those they've done really well again that's not concrete soil and then what happened was they all just died because they just could not develop roots through the concrete soil. So they've all started off really the same way. And here I'm showing you uh, Cleome. All my Cleome haven't germinated, none of them. And I did wonder if it was the seeds. Um, and it could well be, actually. They were a variety, Helen Campbell. Can't remember where I bought them from, but I have a feeling they might, they're obviously old because everything else has germinated um, so and you can see three different methods I did here and not one seed has come up so I definitely think that must be the packet to, that that you know not even one would show up in this case I didn't even use um, all concrete soil I think the first batch were concrete soil the one in the foil tin was concrete actually I think the winter sowing is concrete also but the uh, seed in the trays there was not concrete soil so um, definitely think that was a duff batch of seeds. Hi. Oh, another one. Not clear me again. Super. This one. Oh, got something in here. Dragon. So as I've said before, my snapdragons really only started germinating once I dispensed with the concrete soil. What an expensive waste of, mis uh, of effort that was. These are Aquilegia, also known as Columbine, Granny's Bonnet. They did not do anything and I actually just put them out in the garden um, to die basically well I say die they, they didn't grow um, so I just chucked them on a pot somewhere and thought well I never throw anything completely out until the season has is completely over um, and blow me down thank god I didn't because here they are so I planted them in January on the window ledge 
and they have only just appeared now and it's nearly the end of March so that's strange because the ones that self seed in my garden have been they've been up since February and they're going great guns I mean they're big bushy plants now so it's very strange so they're obviously not going to flower till next year now but you know at least I have new plants snapdragons I'm starting to feel like I've overdone the snapdragons I've overdone them to compensate for the failed initial crops because of the concrete soil um, and I think I've just gone sort of mad <laughs> trying to catch up from my losses <laughs> And I'm pretty sure these are more snapdragons. And as you can see, I have overseeded these, but I definitely won't be overseeding them next time. that I lost my zinnias which I started early um, they came up great a bit leggy um, and I didn't notice until yesterday that they had perished more or less in the heat I actually started these outside I think I started these inside on a north facing window in my garage uh, which is um, cold well not heated let's put it that way so like a greenhouse environment um, and then I only put them outside because you know it's been so mild Actually, all these I did the same way these are great to napweed which is a, a British wildflower Lo looks a lot like a cornflower um, but it's um, you might find it in meadows if they're allowed to naturalise and so on. And I've done a lot of those because I'm all about trying to bring back the native wildlife. And you know I'm hoping to get myself a little plot of land where I can naturalise um, the areas with native wildflowers. So I thought I'd try and get some experience. And these absolutely brilliantly germinated on a north-facing windowsill in my house. So slightly warmer and they just popped up within days and then obviously as the sun came out I decided they would benefit better from being outside and I did a number of these because I, by this point I was realizing the benefits of, of um, being more scarce with my sewing the seeding the bottles which um, will give you problems later on when you need to break them out These were the stocks and I did also do these in the cool garage, so like a cool unheated greenhouse on a north facing window and like the greater napweed they came up in days and have done really well. Um, once they were up I did move them to a more sunny window ledge um, but it was still unheated and here I am with my snapdragon bonanza i actually didn't realize i was editing this video quite how many of these i have done it's a bit crazy but there you go and i are these more snapdragons please tell me they are not but i have a feeling they are Done a lot of circus clown and lucky lips snapdragons I, I think I must have just assumed half of them weren't gonna grow or something because I'd had that bad experience you know <laughs> 